you know, pandemic rolls around, everyone starts freaking out, things start tightening down. Um, I'm realizing at that time that um, all these all these restaurants are like they're on the verge of going out of business, and we're seeing like like even backdoor barbecue. Their last day is in two days from now. Like they're the pandemic did not treat a lot of small businesses well, and like I saw it really hit, hit restaurants. Um, and so one of the things I was thinking about is like there's not a really clear way on how people can support. You know, there are all these people like, hey, support your local restaurant, but like how? Yeah. Do they have delivery? Are they doing delivery themselves? Do they offer takeout? Do they sell gift cards? Do they sell them online? Like, can I just buy it from the comfort of my couch? Um, and so I put together like, uh, or I hit up a few of my friends, Katie No, Nick Brown, you know, um, uh, Jake Spirek, who actually works at 8020 now. Um, and then oh, I'm forgetting someone, and I'm really going to be pissed about it. Ben Parker, I think, was involved. Yeah, Ben Parker actually definitely was involved. Um, but we just we decided to just like a bunch of Oklahomans just uh, culminate this like massive list of restaurants, go through their social media accounts, um, and figure out what are they like. How can people support them? And so um, we called it Oklahomans for Oklahoma. Um, and it was just like a searchable directory. You could choose your favorite type of food, um, filter it. It was a very simple website, um, but it allowed people to quickly find links and like find the way to support the restaurants around them and near them. Um, and it also, we filtered it a lot to uh, filter by city and things like that. And I think one of the coolest things we saw come out of that was we made the site clonable for other people. And like we saw it pop up in all these other cities. Austin came up with one. They called it the Yalmanac. It was amazing. It was so well designed. Um, and then we saw them in Nashville. We saw them in Germany. Like it was all over. And it was like one of the most like cool things to see because it was like this massive community just coming together to try to figure out how to support their smaller, yeah. smaller communities. So yeah, yeah it was a, it was a really fun project. Um, and I think the site's still up, but like there's not a need for it anymore. 